Hi, and welcome to this small tutorial where I will be going through a a neat trick um, in the raw conversion of an image um, that I don't see many people do. Okay, so this is an image with a beautiful lit sky and a horribly lit foreground. Let's say I really want the sky, but I also want the foreground. Normally, I would just open the image and start applying things to lighten the foreground selectively like increasing the curves here and I can try to pull up and then I have to mask out the background don't want the curves affecting this area up here and we can get a decent job done and it's all good but takes a lot of work and the details could get a a little bit ugly the transitions between foreground and background and when I do it like this I do get a bit of ugly noise in the areas brightened what I could also do is reopen my image in the raw conversion and adjust the shadows and blacks. As you can see here, I get a lot of detail in the foreground image. So that's one way of bringing back the details in an image. But wait, there's more! Because doing this kind of, um, kind of takes away some of the magic in the image that we originally had. Uh, the sky gets brightened a bit and it doesn't seem like a sunset really. It just seemed like a, a kind of HDR meets um, transformer sky. So let's get back to the original. Now that I have raw converted it, the uh, raw file looks like the last raw conversion. So let's open it and quickly reset all these values to zero and okay I have my original file over here we have the sky as we like it and let's focus on the foreground so what we just did wasn't that bad um, just let's let's brighten the foreground like we did but also pump up the exposure and when I do this in the raw conversion on the raw converter we get a lot of more details out of it than if we just took the original image uh, like over here and applied a curves layer or anything that adjusts like that. So we have the uh, the newer brighter version here and I'm gonna select it all by pressing command A or control A and then copy it by command or control C. Go to my first layer with the perfect sky and then Command V for paste. Now I don't want it to look like this. All the magic is gone, so I'm gonna put a layer mask on it and fill it with black immediately. And I do that by pressing this button down here. And if I hold down the Alt or Option key, it applies the layer mask immediately with a black fill, so nothing is visible on this layer. Now here comes the magic. Uh, with a relatively low flow and a white brush selected, I'm going to paint back this layer. I'm going to paint back the uh, the brighter layer here. And then I'm going to paint back the details exactly where I want them. And I don't want them everywhere. Because if I wanted that, I just would have stick to the, the overall uh, raw conversion that I made. Um, load the flow a bit here, and by doing it like this, I get full control of my raw conversion. And sometimes you just want to pump it all up and just fill every uh, dark areas that's underlit with uh, with brightness. But um, in s situations like this, I just want a selective raw conversion where I brighten some of the areas instead of everything. So instead of having a version that looks like this, we have a more dramatic version that looks like this. I can 
keep tweaking it a bit, but I do get more drama in my raw conversion with this than this. That was my small tip for today. If you have any requests of anything you'd like to see me do or any tutorials you'd like to have me go through, please leave a comment, please subscribe and I'll get back to you with more. Bye.